Are y'all ready for this? We're going to tackle how we can get back to the gym in the best possible way. Now, one of the reasons why this is where this starts to turn around for me has a lot to do with the fact that uh, it, it's leg day. This is where we turn around. Leg day is what day I always I always put myself in check because you can get yourself hurt really easily with leg exercises if you're not doing them properly. Uh, and so this is one area where I tend to be extremely careful about my exercises. Uh, also, uh, I leg day is tiring. <laughs> And I was already tired from busting my nuts through the rest of these workouts, putting up a little bit more weight on the bar than I probably should have. So I needed to back off just to make it through this and make it to the end of the week. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, so the first exercise we start off with here is the deadlift. And uh, the deadlift, I started off at 135 for 10 reps, uh, did that for two sets, then moved up to 185 for 10 reps for the next two sets. Um, I kept it as clean as possible. Uh, I was just trying to kind of get the feel for the movement again, make sure that everything was functioning well neurologically, and making sure that all, all the hinges and, and, and that were feeling good. And it felt pretty good. I mean, to be honest with you, it also felt challenging because, again, I have not done a deadlift in what feels like a year, maybe less than that, probably, but it just feels like it's been forever. And so I wanted to make sure that I, you know, I still had it in me to do it properly. Next exercise was the barbell squat, which is a lot harder to do here at this particular gym because they don't have a squat cage. They don't have a squat cage. What kind of gym doesn't have a squat cage? I feel like it's. How can you call yourself a gym and not have a squat cage? Point is, uh, for this squat, I did 95 for 10 reps, 115 for 10, 135 for 10, and then 135 for 10. Again, slowly creeping up because I knew I wasn't quite sure if everything was going to feel good because I haven't done a, a barbell back squat in so long. I wanted to make sure that I was getting good depth. I wanted to make sure that I was controlling my form. All my positioning was on point. And of course, without a rack, that the sort of janky situation that I was working with was manageable and I wasn't going to get myself hurt. Uh, so the leg extension machine uh, was uh, the next one I did and that one I did 90 for 10, 120 for 10, 170 for 10, and 200 for 10. Now you can see that I started off thinking I didn't have a lot in the tank but the exercise I was doing at home turned out to be quite quite good in terms of its translation of, uh, of, of strength. Uh, then I did side plank, 45 seconds a side, uh, and I did that four sets. I did two of them at the gym and then I ran out of time, so I did the other two at home, such as leg day, especially when you're not, you know, 150% focused in order to kind of knock it all out as efficiently as possible. Uh, you can see I'm putting my hand on my core to kind of make sure everything is properly activated and like everything is good there. Uh, then we're moving on to Thursday. I uh, started off with a treadmill, did a 20 minute interval run, uh, but that's not shown here because interval running is boring and nobody wants to watch that. Uh, and then I did an overhead press, 45 pounds, 10 reps, 95 for 10, 95 for 10, and 95 for 10. Um, I, I wanted to put more on the bar, not because I felt like I could, but because I could hear my ego saying, you should lift more. But this is definitely where I was really saying to myself, keep your ego in check. Make sure that your form is on point. Don't mess around. Um, next exercise I did was the modified lateral raise. Some of y'all will re, well, you'll probably recognize this uh, if you troll around the internet and if you know Athlean X. Uh, he's where I got this idea from. He's where I took this exercise and I really like it for medial delts. Uh, so I threw this one in uh, 15 for 10 uh, for two sets and then 20 for 10 for two sets. Uh, and that was a really great exercise for another angle here, just in case you kind of wanted to see his form, just a little bit different angle here. I'm I'm trying to avoid swing as much as humanly possible because I'm not bracing against anything. It's just sort of freestanding. Uh, but of course, making sure to keep the shoulders down uh, and get you know arms nice and high to around parallel with the ground. Uh, just a pretty simple exercise once you get the, the feel for some of the slight changes, which is like the palm facing forward and the slight lean forward. Uh, and then uh, I also did the leg extension this day, 200 for uh, four sets. And uh, I, uh, I didn't put it on here because you've already seen me do the leg extension. So what's the point? So we move on to the incline barbell bench press because now we're at Friday. We've basically made a full circle. So 135 for 10, 165 for 10, 185 for 10, and 185 for 8. So this is where we start to really see the effects of a full week's worth of working out kind of hit me. Uh, and I was okay with it. I knew this was going to happen. I worked my way up to it slowly just to see if I could do it. And I stopped at 8 knowing that I didn't have more than 8 in the tank. Um, and that's okay. I, I knew that there was going to be a certain measure of sacrificing of, uh, of, of strength that happened as I proceeded through the week. And so perfectly normal, perfectly okay. 
you come back the next week, you know, stronger than the last because this is the first full week. And so this is the one that really makes you, lets you see where you're at and what, what everything, how everything is performing. Uh, next, we have the flat barbell bench press, 135 for 10, 155 for 10 for two sets, and then 165 for 10. So I was able to put a little bit more up on the flat this time. Um, I was taking, trying to take as good a care of my chest as soon as possible over the course of the week. It's stretching it and you know, it's mobilizing it as much as possible since the doms was so serious. Uh, and I wanted to kind of like make sure that it was uh, okay again afterwards. Uh, next, I moved on to the seated cable row 187 for the full four sets because I realized I had 10 reps of 187 for five the first time I went. This one was the closest I got to lifting with the ego because it was hard, but I still kept my form on point. But Lord knows I was riding the red line at some points there. Then of course, the last exercise of the day and of the week, which is a barbell bent over row, which, you know, I'm getting a little amped up for, got a little ASAP in the headphones and I'm just gonna give her as much as I can. This is the last set, 135 for 10, 135 for 10, then 155 for 10 for the last two sets. Uh, and yeah, just getting a good feel for it. it. The back was feeling fantastic by this point in time of the week. I had this pretty much in the bag without any question. Uh, and yeah, locked it down, felt good. Uh, so at the end of the week, I was feeling, you know, a-okay. Nothing was off. Nothing felt like I was, you know, overly taxed. And, you know, by that point in time, since I managed to rein myself in enough, uh, I was, I came out on Friday feeling pretty good with the, the solid memory of how bad I felt earlier in the week. But nonetheless, I felt good by the end of the week. Oh, those sirens. Don't pay attention to them. Pay attention to me. So that kind of concludes uh the the how to get back into the gym the the right way and the right way really is to take a measured response to it just slowly and progressively work yourself in have a plan of how you're going to approach things which i did i had a very clear plan and idea as to how i was going to approach each day and the the structure of the week overall uh, and i also had a very good idea as to how i was going to sort of start to you know be more progressive about my loading as i hit wednesday because i did not really do that before the excitement got the best of me uh, uh, and I, I had closed off the week strong, feeling good and feeling like I made the best out of the workout. So if you're looking for the best way to get back into the gym, that is the best way to get back in the gym. Slowly but surely and with a very good plan in place for the days and for the week as a whole. So I hope you found that information helpful. I hope you found it entertaining. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these workouts. If you guys liked this uh, sort of two-parter that I did, let me know, throw a comment in the comment section below the video. Uh, of course, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I think I'll have a reminder that does this little ting uh, at the end here, you know, uh, just to kind of remind you guys, subscribe. We appreciate every addition to the galaxy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. And until then, stay shining because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place if we all shine together. Peace.